World Series Zachary D. Reimer at Zachary MLB led writer February 4, 2019 What are the chances of a Red Sox repeat? JC Hong, Associated Press Now that the Super Bowl is over, the logical thing would be to preview Major League Baseball's spring training season. Instead, how about something a little more fun? As in, let's assess each team's chances of winning the 2019 World Series. We've conjured up championship odds for all 30 teams based on a variety of factors. Overall team strength is the big one. We also considered the ease or difficulty of each team's road to the postseason and how well equipped it is for possible roster upgrades along the way. We'll go in order from worst odds to best odds. Patrick Szymanski, Associated Press Last World Series Title, 19,832,018 Record, 47-115, Fifth and Alice East Outlook It would be a heck of a story if the Baltimore Orioles followed a 115 loss season with a World Series shocker, but that nah. The Orioles have spent the offseason shaking up their power structure following the ousters of general manager Dan Duquette and manager Buck Showalter. They've done well in this regard, yet their roster has gone neglected. Their Manny Machado-less offense is positioned to be MLB's worst. They've also done nothing to improve a pitching staff that finished 2018 with an MLB high 5.18 era. Said pitching staff will suffer from a defense that finished dead last in efficiency last year. The Orioles might have a shot at the World Series if some kind of curse afflicts the rest of MLB. Failing that, this year will be about taking their lumps while they try to build up their no. 20 farm system. Odds, 1000 minus 1 Mark Brown, Getty Image's last World Series title, 20,032,018 record, 63-98, to 5th in NL East Outlook The 2018 Miami Marlins performed as expected following off-season trades of Giancarlo Stanton, Christian Yelich, Marcelo Zuna and D. Gordon which is to say, extremely poorly. Still, the Marlins have some young talent to pin their hopes on going into 2019. Brian Anderson is coming off an underappreciated rookie season. Louis Brinson is a former top prospect who could break out in a big way. Jose Reina and Tehran Guerrero have electric right arms. Then again, it likely won't be long before all-star catcher JT. Real Muto is traded. Four-time All-Star second baseman Starlin Castro and relievers Drew Steckenrider and Adam Conley are likely to follow. This points to how Miami's no. 28 Farm System needs a lot of work before the team can hope to contend again. An honest World Series discussion for this team is several years away. Odds, 900 to 1 Paul Sancia, Associated Press Last World Series Title, 19,842,018 Record, 64 to 98 Third in Al Central Outlook Nicholas Castellanos was the Detroit Tigers' only good hitter in the wake of Miguel Cabrera's season-ending bicep surgery. No thanks to an injury-marred season on the part of Michael Fulmer, good pitching was also hard to come by. The end result was a second straight 98 loss season. The Tigers might have a shot at surprising people in 2019 if they harvest a whole bunch of fruit from their no. 11 farm system. It's especially rich in pitching, and Kristen Stewart and Des Cameron, son of Mike, are two young hitters ready to contribute. That's a stretch, however. The Tigers are more likely to add to their farm system by making as many impact trades as they can, up to and including deals of Castellanos and Fulmer. We'll know the Tigers are ready to contend again when they're ready to spend again. By GM Villa's own admission, that won't be until 2021 or even 2022. Odds, 800 to 1 Justin Burl, Getty Image's last World Series title, 20,152,018 record, 58 to 104, fifth in L Central Outlook. Though the Kansas City Royals endured their first 100 loss season since 2006, the last year wasn't without a silver lining. The Royals finished with a 20-14 stretch punctuated by strong hitting, 5.1 runs per game, and strong pitching, 3.80 era. Going into 2019, there should be some optimism for a lineup fronted by Adalberto Mondesi and Whit Merrifield and for a starting rotation anchored by Danny Duffy and Brad Keller.
trouble is, there's a lot of dead space in between the good parts of the roster. Kansas City's number 24 farm system lacks the bodies to fill that space. If anything, the good parts will be subtracted so the Royals won't have the same problem in the future. It's fair to expect the Royals to be better in 2019. But a return to the World Series? Maybe hold off on expecting that until, say, 2021 at the earliest. Odds, 700 to 1 Paul Sancia, Associated Press Last World Series Title, 20,052,018 Record, 62 to 100 Fourth in L Central Outlook Even if they don't land Machado via free agency, you can see the Chicago White Sox as a surprise contender if you squint hard enough. Their lineup is built around three solid veterans, Jose Abreu and newcomers Yonder Alonso and John Jay, and they've made veteran additions to their starting rotation, Ivan Nova, and bullpen, Alex Colomie and Kelvin Herrera as well. Meanwhile, the White Sox are constructing a young core that already includes infielders Yoan Moncada and Tim Anderson and pitchers Carlos Rodon, Reynaldo Lopez and Lucas Giolito. And they're sitting on MLB's No. 4 farm system, which includes such talents as Uber slugger Aloy Jimenez, who's MLB.com's number 3 prospect. At least until the White Sox have secured Machado's signature, however, they won't be a real contender in 2019 unless everything goes right. Their best case scenario is more like an improvement to the .500 mark. Odds, 500 to 1 Dennis Poroy, Getty Image's last World Series title, never 2018 record, 66 to 96, fifth in NL West Outlook even without any of the big names they've been linked to this offseason, the San Diego Padres are shaping up to be more interesting than usual in 2019, Will Myers and Eric Hosmer can be veteran anchors in the lineup. It also shouldn't be long before shortstop Fernando Tatis Jr., MLB.com, s no. Two prospect, joins a core of talented young hitters that includes Francisco Mejia, Luis Urioche, Hunter Renfro and Franchi Cordero. Also, don't overlook the bullpen. Per Fangraphs, it led MLB in wins above replacement in the second half of 2018, the only way the Padres are contending, however, is if they find answers for a rotation that finished 2018 with an NL worst 5.09 era. Unfortunately for them, the best arms e.g., Mackenzie Gore and Chris Paddock in their number one farm system aren't guaranteed to help this year. Barring an everything goes right scenario in 2019, 2020 will be the year to watch out for the Padres. Odds, 300 to 1th year on W. Henderson, Getty Image's last World Series title, 20,142,018 record, 73 to 89, fourth in NL West Outlook the San Francisco Giants should arguably be in the early stages of a rebuild. Instead, new president of baseball operations Farhan Zaidi seems willing to chance a last hurrah in 2019, it's hard not to be intrigued by the possibility of the team's core veterans turning back the clock. That means Buster Posey, Brandon Belt, Evan Longoria and Brandon Crawford on the offensive side. On the mound, it means Madison Bumgarner, Jeff Samardzia and Drew Pomerantz. The Giants also have some young talent, e.g., righty Derek Rodriguez and outfielders Steven Duggar and Chris Shaw, to hope on. Throw in a solid bullpen headed by Will Smith and there's enough for it, maybe, more likely, 2019 will play out like 2017 and 2018, across which the Giants accrued 187 losses in decidedly dispiriting fashion. The only difference this time would be a massive sell-off around the July 31st trade deadline for the sake of improving the team's number 26 farm system. 250 to 1 Richard W. Rodriguez, Associated Press Last World Series title, never 2018 record, 67-95, to 5th in L West Outlook The Texas Rangers are another club that should arguably be in the middle of a full-blown rebuild but that is angling to try winning instead. The lineup is the best reason to believe in them. And in some cases, upside permitting, a core of Joey Gallo, Nomer Mazzara, Rune Doder, Shinsu Chu, Elvis Andrus and his Drupal Kimbrera is one that can drive an improvement over last year's 4.5 runs per game. The Rangers also boast a sneaky good bullpen. 
Jose Leclerc is coming off a spectacular star-making turn in 2018, and Jesse Chavez and Sean Kelly are in for additional support. The rotation, on the other hand, is volatile enough to come with official guidelines for minimum safe distance. Mike Miner was solid in 2018, but Lance Lynn was not. After them come not one, not two, but three guys coming off Tommy John's surgery, Drew Smiley, Edens and Vokwas and Shelby Miller. At best, this is probably a .500 team. Odds, 200-1 Stephen Brashier, Getty Image Last World Series title, never 2018 record, 89-73, third in Al West Outlook The Seattle Mariners needed an extreme helping of luck to win 89 games last year, so it's understandable their response was to blow up the roster. At least they did say so in an interesting way. Though they succeeded in pushing their farm system into MLB's top 10, which, granted, accounts for the signing for Japanese lefty Yusei Kikuchi, they also loaded up on recognizable names such as Edwin Encarnacion, Jay Brusque Domingo Santana and Malik Smith. If the Mariners are lucky, again, they'll get the best out of their new additions, plus vintage seasons from veteran incumbents like Felix Hernandez, Kyle Seeger and Mike Leake. As a result, they would make a surprise play in the All-West. But if we're speaking honestly, the Mariners might be built on more ifs than any other fringe team. Look like a team that will have its moments but not enough of them to rise far above .500, odds, 150 to 1 Christian Peterson, Getty Image's last World Series title, 19,932,018 record, 73 to 89, fourth in Al East Outlook Let's imagine a 2019 in which the Toronto Blue Jays take a sudden yet not entirely unexpected leap forward. Start on the mound, where young righties Marcus Stroman and Aaron Sanchez could stay healthy and fulfill their destiny as a dynamic one-two punch. The Blue Jays could also get the best out of Kent Giles, Matt Shoemaker and Clayton Richard. Then to the lineup, which could flourish around up-and-coming prospects Vladimir Guerrero Jr., MLB.com, S number 1, and Bo Bichette, no. 11. Fellow youngster Danny Jansen and veterans such as Justin Smoke, Randall Grichuk and Kendrys Morales. Alas, the Blue Jays will only contend in a top-heavy Al East if all this and more comes to pass. This season will be more about taking whatever bright spots they can get as well as cashing in items of value during the summer trade season. Ultimately, 2019 will just be another stepping stone on the way to better days in 2020 and beyond. Odds, 125 to 1 Gary Landers, Associated Press Last World Series title, 19,902,018 record, 67 to 95, fifth in NL Central Outlook Mick to their credit, the Cincinnati Reds have maneuvered to bring about an early end to their rebuild. Their lineup no longer revolves around Joey Votto, Eugenio Suarez and Scooter Jeanette. Yasiel Puig and Matt Kemp, who combined for an .819 ops and 44 home runs with the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2018, are in to provide extra firepower. Top prospect Nick Senzel, MLB.com, S number 6, will also join up eventually. Along with hard-throwing righty Luis Castillo, newcomers Sonny Gray, Alex Wood and Tanner Rohr can help get the team's rotation era back down under 5.00. Headed by Razel Iglesias, the Reds also boast a solid late-inning relief core. Trouble is, Cincinnati's new-look rotation has as much downside as upside, and not just because of the individual volatility of the principal members. Great American Ballpark is no country for pitchers, and the Reds aren't poised to improve on their poor defensive rating from 2018, if these things don't trip them up, the sheer depth of the NL Central might. Odds, 100-1 Rick Scateri, Associated Press Last World Series title, 20,012,018 record, 82-80, third in NL West Outlook The Arizona Diamondbacks got off to a 21-8 start last season. Then came a 61-72 reality check, followed by a trade of franchise icon Paul Goldschmidt and losses of Patrick Corbin and AJ Pollock to free agency, yet we propose it's not all bad in Arizona.
the Snakes have added some depth and also held on to starters Zach Granke and Robbie Ray, reliever Archie Bradley, infielder Eduardo Escobar and outfielder David Peralta, each of whom boasts all-star potential. Ditto for big-time breakout candidate Kettle Mart, as well as Steven Souza Jr. and Jake Lamb if they stay healthy, if it all comes together and the luck gods do them more favors than they did in 2018, the D-backs will be a well-rounded club capable of pulling off a surprise season, a la what they did in 2017, the top of the NL West is a tough nut to crack, however, and if there are any signs of trouble, the D-backs may not hesitate to subtract from their roster for the sake of improving their number 18 farm system. Odds, 90-1 Jim Mohn, Associated Press Last World Series Title, 19,912,018 Record, 78-84, Second in Al Central Outlook Given the amount of payroll space they still have, the Minnesota Twins might not yet be done building a contender for 2019. As it is, what they have is nothing if not interesting. Adding Nelson Cruz, who's averaged 41 homers per year since 2014, was a stroke of genius. CJ. Cron and Jonathan Scope have power of their own, and there's a world of upside contained in incumbents Byron Buxton, Miguel Sano, Eddie Rosario, Jorge Polanco and Max Kepler. Further, a rotation headed by Jose Barrios, Kyle Gibson, Jake Odorizzi and a healthy Michael Pineda could be quite good. Minnesota's pen looks weaker, but Blake Parker and Trevor may have the stuff to be a dynamic late-inning duo. But for their grand plan to work, the Twins need Buxton and Sano, in particular, to achieve results that have thus far been frustratingly elusive. If they disappoint once again, it's hard to imagine the Twins leapfrogging a pitching-rich Cleveland Indians club in the Al Central. Odds, 82-1 Victor D. Colin Gunn, Getty Image's last World Series title, 20,022,018 record, 82-82, fourth in L. West Outlook for the first time since 1999, somebody other than Mike Sosha will be managing the Los Angeles Angels in 2019. If nothing else, new skipper Brad Osmus should be a nice change of pace. Otherwise, the Angels are still very much in the hands of the god of war, Mike Trout. For their part, Justin Upton, Andrew Alton Simmons and, when healthy, Shohei Otani will ensure that Trout won't have to carry the lineup all by his lonesome. Elsewhere, the Angels did well to add Matt Harvey, Trevor Cahill and Cody Allen to their staff. The first two join lefties Andrew Heaney and Tyler Skaggs in a solid rotation. The third will head a bullpen that needed a ninth-inning linchpin. Yet one worry with the Angels is their lack of offensive upside around their core hitters. Another is their shortage of true star potential among their pitchers. Both could be exposed in a tough all-west race, resulting in yet another middling season. Odds, 72-1 Matt Roark, Associated Press Last World Series title, 20,082,018 record, 82-82, third in NL East Outlook The Philadelphia Phillies probably aren't finished filling out their roster for 2019, yet they're already equipped to following last year's step forward with another. An offense that struggled to score even 4.2 runs per game in 2018 now has a new and improved core, as newcomers Andrew McCutcheon and Gene Segura have joined forces with incumbent slugger Reese Hoskins, and David Robertson, the Phillies have also added the experienced relief face they needed. But while the Phillies are certainly better, they're not the best team in the NL East. Among the things standing in their way is the reality that they've barely upgraded their poor defense and that their rotation features a good deal of uncertainty after the star duo of Aaron Nola and Jake Arrieta. The Phillies have enough stars to cause trouble if they ultimately play into October. But until they add more depth, getting there will be the hard part. Odds, 60-1 Derek Hamilton, Associated Press Last World Series title, 19,792,018 record, 82-79, fourth in NL Central Outlook The Pittsburgh Pirates were never really out of the 2018 NL Central race until late in the season. They're now going into 2019 as an under-the-radar contender. Pittsburgh's rotation is headed by righties Jamison Talon and Trevor Williams, who caught fire and combined on a 1.90 era in the second half of 2018. The Pirates can also look forward to full seasons from Chris Archer and Joe Musgrove.
Mitch Keller, MLB.com's number 19 prospect, should be along eventually. The Pirates are also returning a stellar late-inning relief trio of Felipe Vasquez, Richard Rodriguez and Kyle Crick. Throw in Kayoni Keela for a full season, and you get a dangerous bullpen and, altogether, a pitching staff fit to go deep in October. But then there's Pittsburgh's lineup. It isn't lacking in depth, but it is lacking in star power and, well, actual home run power. If that doesn't trip the Pirates up in the regular season, it could in October, when home runs can make a huge difference. Odds, 52-1 Despin Bradford, Getty Image's last World Series title, never 2018 record, 91-72, second in NL West Outlook The Colorado Rockies had to overcome a top-heavy lineup and an erratic bullpen last year, so it's hard to argue with numbers that suggest they were lucky to win 91 games. To their credit, though, the Rockies were legitimately good in the second half. It helped that Kyle Freeland and German Marquez pitched like aces, and that their bullpen squared itself away. The Rockies will miss Adam Adovino from said bullpen, but they'll be fine if Wade Davis, Brian Shaw and Jake McGee adhere to their track records. Newcomer Daniel Murphy, a healthy David Dahl and the eventual promotion of Brendan Rodgers, MLB.com, as no prospect will take some of the offensive load off the shoulders of Nolan Arenado, Trevor Story and Charlie Blackman. A team like this should have a better chance of advancing in the postseason than last year's iteration. But unless the Dodgers seed ground atop the NL West, getting there will be the hard part. Odds, 40-1 Jeff Roberson, Associated Press Last World Series title, 20,112,018 record, 88-74, third in NL Central Outlook Though they haven't exactly been hyperactive on the offseason market, the St. Louis Cardinals have done enough to improve on last year's near-miss. An offense that scored 4.7 runs per game in 2018 is now anchored by two of the NL's five best hitters, Matt Carpenter and newcomer Paul Goldschmidt. If healthy, fellow newcomer Andrew Miller will team up with Jordan Hicks, Luke Gregerson and Dakota Hudson to form a bullpen that should be more reliable than what the Cardinals endured last year. After what happened to Carlos Martinez, Michael Waka and Adam Wainwright last year, however, volatility in St. Louis's rotation remains an issue. The Cards also don't really know when or in what capacity top prospect Alex Reyes will be available. The Cardinals will be a legit World Series contender if Fortune smiles on their rotation. If not, a tough NL Central race could finish them before they even get to October. Odds, 25 to 1 Mark J. Terrell, Associated Press Last World Series title, never 2018 record, 90 to 72, third in Al East Outlook. The big challenge for the Tampa Bay Rays in 2019 will be closing space between them and the Boston Red Sox and New York Yankees. Even in winning 90 games, they fell well short of both in 2018. On the plus side, Rays pitchers aren't going to make it easy on anyone this year. Running Cy Young Award winner Blake Snell, Charlie Morton and Tyler Glass now bring nasty stuff to the top of the rotation. After them comes a menagerie of arms for mastermind manager Kevin Cash to deploy however he sees fit. The Rays are also returning the core members of a defense that ranked second in efficiency in 2018. To boot, an offense that was one of MLB's best in the second half now has additional upside in Avisel Garcia and Mike Zunino. If the Rays played in, say, the Al Central, they'd be looking at an easy road to the playoffs and better odds of going all the way. But even if they so much as nab a wild card spot, they'll be a team to fear in October. Odds, 22-1 Jason Miller, Getty Image's last World Series title, 19,482,018 record, 91-71, first in Al Central Outlook. The Cleveland Indians have succeeded in their quest to cut payroll, but their roster is worse off because of it. Gone via free agency are Michael Brantley, Andrew Miller, Cody Allen and Josh Donaldson. The trade market has claimed Yen Gomes, Edwin Encarnacion and Yonder Alonso.
Cubans lineup and bullpen, respectively, look especially inferior relative to last year as a result. Yet the situation in Cleveland is far from hopeless. Francisco Lindor and Jose Ramirez are the most dynamic offensive duo in baseball right now. Cleveland's rotation led MLB in Fangraph's war in 2018, and Corey Kluber, Carlos Carrasco, Trevor Bauer, Mike Clevinger and Shane Bieber are back for more in 2019. Meanwhile, the Indians' bullpen at least still has Brad Hand and Adam Simber. As per usual, the Indians are looking at little resistance along the path through the L Central, if any of the three super teams in the American League, more on them soon, hit any walls this season, Cleveland's road to the World Series will be easier than it was in 2018, odds, 19-1 as Russia, Getty Image's last World Series title, 19,892,018 record, 97-65, second in L West outlook, the Oakland A's are going into 2019 with an obvious flaw. Their rotation, which is headed by human homer magnets Mike Fires and Marco Estrada, is projected by Fangraphs to rank 28th in war, young lefty Jesus Lazardo, MLB.com, S. No. 12th prospect, is one reason to hope for better things. There's also the reality that the A's are as well equipped to downplay their rotation as any team could possibly be. On the run prevention side, the A's boast arguably MLB's best defense and a deep bullpen headed by nigh unhittable closer Blake Trinan. On the run production side, Chris Davis, Matt Chapman and Matt Olson are back to lead a lineup that ranked third with 227 homers in 2018, maybe another 97 win season isn't in order, but the A's have enough to return to the postseason. Once there, they could minimize the role of their starting pitchers much like the Milwaukee Brewers did in coming one win short of the 2018 World Series. Odds 18-1 Richard Drew, Associated Press last World Series title, 19,862,018 record, 77-85, fourth in NL East outlook if they were going to contend in 2019, the New York Mets sorely needed to address a lineup that produced 4.2 runs per game and a bullpen that led the NL in meltdowns in 2018, the first mission was accomplished through the additions of Robinson Cano, Wilson Ramos, Jed Lowry, J.D. Davis and Kean Broxton. The latter, through the additions of Edwin Diaz, Juris Familia, Justin Wilson and Luis Avilan, one thing that figures to hinder the Mets in a crowded NL East race is the top heaviness of their rotation. But if Jacob Degram, Noah Syndergaard and Zach Wheeler can stay healthy, they'll have as many as three contenders, yes, even Wheeler, for the NL Cy Young Award. Brody Van Wagenen said he wanted to win now when he was introduced as the Mets' new GM last October. Against all odds, he's constructed a team that's very much capable of following through on that promise. Odds, 17 to 1 Mike Stobe, Getty Image's last World Series title, 19,952,018 record, 90 to 72, first in NL East outlook the Atlanta Braves essentially ran unopposed in the 2018 NL East race. Following the division's off-season arms race, they won't be so lucky in 2019, but along with the ever-excellent Freddie Freeman, Atlanta's additions of Josh Donaldson and Brian McCann and re-signing of Nick Markakis have created a strong veteran core around Dansby Swanson, Ozzy Albies and reigning NL Rookie of the Year Ronald Acuna Jr. Collectively, this is also an excellent defensive lineup. The Braves' mound staff would look better with an established number one and or a proven closer. but they can count on Mike fulton Evich, Sean Newcomb and Kevin Gaussman to carry their rotation. And whether it's through promotions or trades, their pitching-rich number 2 farm system will have a role to play in adding talent wherever it's needed. In all, it's hard to see a scenario in which the Braves aren't better in 2019 than they were in 2018. Even if they don't get in via the NL East crown, they'll be a serious threat in October. Odds, 16-1 Jonathan Daniel, Getty Image's last World Series title, 20,162,018 record, 95-68.